Hello! Alright, it's happening! We're back! In action! This is Dungeon 3 of um, Oracle of Seasons. So basically, we last left off having just entered this. I think I had just gotten the summer ability on the red. I don't really know how to describe it, but you know, the ability to enact the season of summer. So I don't think we've seen anything yet. Woo! Do I have a shield? Okay, good, I do. Uh, of course, right as I start, I'm starting to get dropped frame notifications, but it seems like it's fine because... I'm not seeing any actual drop frames. OBS gets a little weird sometimes. I'm just gonna see if it even is showing up in the stream itself. Cause I don't think it is. I think it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It seems okay. I'm not too worried. Okay, anyway. Bam! Alright. Now I can deal with these goons. Easy peasy like. Uh, the real mystery is going to be whether or not they're going to hide anything underneath one of these million pots. Which I would not be shocked if they did. Usually they're a little more obvious about it when they do that. Ooh, I might have needed bombs. Not totally sure, but I'm going to poke my head over here first. Okay, so we have the owl and nothing. So I guess we'll drop back down here at some point. All right, those guys had more health than I was expecting. I still have the link to the past version of those guys in my brain. I wonder, we probably get rocks feather here. That's my guess. Because, well, I guess the only other way I would jump, get across there would be the, uh, the, like, magnet gloves or whatever they're called. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. I feel like this is the perfect point to give us rocks feathers so that we can start jumping around all over the place. Ah, what now? All right. I thought I had him. Not like we really lost any any distance there, but you know, it's the principle that matters. Okay, so let's see. I can't remember uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I feel like there's gonna be eight dungeons total. I could be crazy though. Now. I'm just wondering, do these guys just infinitely spawn, or is there a finite amount of them? Ah, you gotta be kidding me. They're so much better at grabbing me than I keep expecting them to be. They've got like, they've got some real range on them. Oh well. I'll figure it out by the end of this game, I'm sure. <laughs> Just in time for, uh... Oracle of, of Ages. Because I'm sure these guys will come back. Wallmasters never go away. Not really. They, like... They've become too iconic for the franchise. Ah. I don't know if there's a... Can I just, like, put this down? Nope. Hmm. I don't think there's any way for me to move that. So what do I actually do here? Huh. I mean, like, I would say maybe there's a block that I can just, like, keep moving around. But that's definitely not a place I can go. This isn't a place I can go either. 
So I actually... I don't know what I need to do. Ah. Unless... Am I crazy? Okay, good. I don't have Rock's Feather. I was going to say, if I had it this whole time and I just didn't realize it, it's going to be dumbfounded. Although, you know, I guess I could go talk to our buddy and see if he gives me any good some sweet tips good defense is the best offense against spikes great do i get rock's feather outside of here huh i mean like maybe i'm just not trying hard enough with this with the power bracelet like maybe I can actually pull uh. yeah there really is no way to just drop it okay so what if I <sighs> nada Huh. Unless... I mean, I feel like it's too early for them to be... trying to, like, hide progression behind locked doors anyway. Have I gone to... I No, I would have had to have gone to Dungeon 2 because I have both of these. Oh. Okay, yeah, so there are six more dungeons. Oh, actually. Huh, so... I guess I need Rock's Feather before I even go into the dungeon. Shovel Bombs, Rod of Seasons, Boomerang, Wooden Shield. Yeah, I mean, like... I don't think I can... Um... Push down that switch with... A bomb or something. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well. Pegasus seeds, scent seeds, and ember seeds. Yeah. Huh. Weird. Well, then we'll get out of here. I mean, there's still... I'm pretty sure... There's still plenty over in this area that I've yet to explore. Now I'm just trying to remember where I get the rock's feather. If I feel like I get it from the witch, but I... I feel like I'm just thinking of Link's awakening. Hmm. Yeah, Alright. Oh well. Is Ricky still out here? Hey! What's up, buddy? Um. Should I make it. Summer? Let's make it summer. And then bounce around on the water. I don't know if it really is gonna matter. But I feel like. If ever there was going to be a point in which a lot of this water gets drained, it'd be in summer. Ah! That was very much the wrong buttons. Jeez, man. Alright, well. Let's see how it is. Ah! Oh, I wasted the potion. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with getting past these guys. I guess I could just pull out the shield. Oh, yeah. And um, this was all fruitless anyway. Well, I'll get another potion. I'm sure uh, our witch friend will drop one at some point anyway. I might have been able to burn those, too, for all I know.
Okay, well, let's keep poking around, I guess. Now I can get up here. Let's see what this sign says. Grizz, you're my best customer. Take this. Special gift, Vasu. Oh? Huh? Hey! Oh, cool! That's kind of fun. Get out of here. Whoa! Those guys with the rocks on their back are kind of a pain in the butt. Ah, speaking of which... Perfect time... Whoops. Perfect time to go get me a new potion. Hey, oh, of course it spawned right on top of her. Ah, you all remember this. I don't think I've gone up here yet. Oh, I have. Can't do anything up there. Oh, and now everything is fall again. Is, was this where I gave the creepy doll? Yeah, I think it is. Because it sent chills down her spine. Maybe I did more over here than I, I thought I did. Oh. I mean, like... I'm pretty sure I can't use Ricky inside the dungeon, right? Or am I crazy? That'd be kind of weird. I mean, you know what? I didn't try, so maybe maybe I should just go back and, and give it a whirl. Just to be extra sure. It just doesn't feel right, you know? Oh, or... You know what, maybe I have to go do more in the, um, uh, I forget the name of it, but that, that underground world. Maybe I do have to do more down there. Because I just, all I did when I was down there was, um, grab the Season of Summer stuff, but, I don't know, there could be more to it. Matt, you want to jump up there? Okay. I'll hop up there, turn it to summer. And we'll see what happens once I'm inside. Poison Moth Slayer. Okay. Huh? Seems a lot like nothing. Okay, cool. So at least I'm not crazy about that. Um, now it's just the question of how... How do I get over there? Did I have to go down here and around? That feels right. Ah! Got my control scheme all messed up in my head. Because with Ricky punching is A and then sword is B, which I I recognize I have full control of that, but it's goofing up my brain, man. Okay, so I think it was just yeah, yeah. There you go. I knew he had it in him. Cha! Okay, and then grab our handy dandy power bracelet and back underground we go. Hopefully to find us Rock's Feather.
Rumors to have a precious red ore and blue ore. If you mix the two, you get unbelievable hard one, but it's a secret. Got that right. Okay, uh, I guess I'll use my handy dandy shovel. I, I don't remember where I get that blue and red ore. I really hope it's not just like aimlessly digging around because, oh boy, that'll take a while. It'd be even worse though, honestly, if it were a, um, like total random chance. I could see, I could see this game kind of pulling something like that, but I don't think they will. I feel like it's probably just secret location. It's a little confusing too, because the currency is also red and blue, I believe. So it's like, well, is it this ore, or is it like a different version of the red and blue ore? Hmm. I don't know. But I would really like a heart. Why are there no hearts? I mean, you know, I'll take good money. All right, what's in the market? Three peaches. Yeah, okay. Is this just a big bomb bag? Ooh, 10 bombs and 50 ore chunks. Heck yeah. I don't have enough to trade. Ow. Oh, joke's on me. A seed ring, I'll trade for 30 ore chunks. Oh, that's pretty, pretty cheap. Heck yeah. All right, well. I'll go get some more bombs so I can get a bigger bomb bag. That's kind of nice, though. I didn't realize... I think he was selling a heart piece before, and I bought that. And I think he just replaced it with the, uh... The bomb bag. Which is kind of nice. So that's the way back to the main area. Oh, and that's right. I need the magnets for this. Well, Lisa, Ambrosia Market has begun carrying lots of weird things. I think they get it all from the temple. Probably. Temple's full of weird stuff. Rosa, the pop star has been seen around here a lot lately. I know, I went on a little date with her. You jelly. If you mix red ore and blue ore, it makes hard ore. Well, then let's mix all this delicious red and blue ore. I think there was nothing down here. Yeah, just a bunch of guys aimlessly wandering the beach. I just wonder if the beach would be a good place to hide one of those two ores. Just because you're already digging around there like crazy trying to find that star ore. So it'd be a good place to like accidentally discover the other, the one half. Hi, Jen! <laughs> Happy Triforce Tuesday! Yeah! I already ordered the, uh, my, the copy for, uh, Oracle of, of Ages also. So I'm, I'm ready. Ready to go all in on these little Game Boy games. Of course, I feel like I'm making slower progress on Oracle of Seasons than any of the other 2D Zelda games so far. That's okay. They're fun. I like them. This game's being very stingy with me right now, though. So now I want to give me any life or any bombs. Bombs are really all I want. Maybe, maybe bombs just don't ever show up underground, and nothing, nothing good will come out of those guys. Although maybe, was this another, I forget what this building was up here. If you dig up near the ground near here, you can get ore chunks. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, but maybe, 
The tip is those guys that were standing around being like, there's a lot of ore over here. <laughs> Why dig up ore chunks when you can go break someone's pots and steal their ore chunks? Grab items, hit switches, and stun beasts from far away. Boomerangs are so useful. If you can do the subversion dance well, you can get a boomerang. Psh, way ahead of you, man. I'm quite busy. There's lots of good ore chunks at the temple in the east. Hmm. Having rupees doesn't do you any good. You need ore chunks. Well, fine then, I guess. Digging around for ore chunks. Digging around down for more ore chunks. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're all just talking about the temple after all. Although I could go digging around there too and see what I find. Because I know I need these. I'm pretty sure I need these to upgrade. Oh, there's a heart. To uh, upgrade the sword. Can I even dig over here? Oh, I can. Oh. I don't even think I could dig those little pebble spots either. So maybe... Maybe that's what's over here is a nice little hiding spot for some fancy ore. Huh? Oh, well, I mean, that was nice. So now I know that there's yellow ore. Oh, yeah, and it's just dropping more red ore than here than anywhere else. Huh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't think I can really dig anywhere else, so. Hmm. I still don't know where I get Rock's Feather, though. Maybe... Maybe I can access more areas above ground than, than I thought. Maybe I should go back up north and see where else I can go now that I can pick up things. This seems like a good place to hide something valuable. Eh? Eh? Hey! I was not wrong. <laughs> was this the guy that was like, oh, there's so many good ore chunks here. You could get a lot of good ore chunks around here. Darn tootin'. Well... Apparently not right there, but maybe, maybe down below. All right, well, I could go do the dance again and see if that does anything. Ow. Yeah, I can't get over there because I still need the jump. But on the plus side, I can just go in this portal and then be basically back at town, I think. We're about to start practice. Will you dance with us? I think he's still just going to give me money, though. It's worth a shot. I had it. All right, we'll give it another shot. I mean, I was definitely messing it up in the beginning quite a bit. Whoops. the wrong button. It's gonna happen! Oops.
There we go. You're pretty good. You're our best dancer today. Here's your prize. Ooh, a geisha seed. Okay, so it does, does randomize it a little bit. I wonder if it changes over time, too. Like, maybe... Geisha seed. Huh. Yeah, I guess it, it does kind of seem like once it chooses its reward for the day, it just kind of stays consistent for a little bit. So I wonder if it is a time thing. Like, I just got to keep swinging by here every now and then and see if it changes up the reward. Oh, actually, this is a pretty good spot to go back and explore. I guess it, it probably does open up quite a bit of the world now that I also have summer. I didn't think about that. So let's see if there's anything new over here now. Ooh. Wow, I have a lot of rubies. Rup rupees, gosh. The CDI games will have forever ruined me. A potion! Hey, well, you know, it all kind of worked out in the end. Oh, I just realized that I forgot to do something. Okay. All better. Okay, well, I can't get over there. Cursed like-likes. Take my shield, not today. Uh, okay, so maybe I think I needed the. Oh. Well, okay, hold on. Might be able to work with this. I think those only open up in spring. I think. Well, the default is not winter, so it's either gonna be. Autumn or spring that defaults over here. My guess is probably autumn. It seems like that's the case for a lot of these areas. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll come back over there. Yeah, because I'm only going to be able to turn it to winter. So I'm just going to have to leave and come back. Which I think this will reset it. Ah, it is autumn. Okay, so it's not going to open up. Got to give him some oil. I think I already burned down all these, but I'm going to do it again. Just, oh goodness. Yeah, all right. Okay, so nothing over here. So then I think maybe I do have to go to the right then. Or I mean, uh, north. If I burn this, will this stay, stay destroyed? Uh, we'll take that. Oh, actually, while, while I'm here. Oh, wait, what are you doing over here? I hear some animals in the wild. They're used to people. Maybe you can make friends. Oh, it's... Not the same guy I thought it was. Might as well get some rings appraised. Alright. Got two guys. Let's call this Toss Ring. Throwing distance increased. Ooh. What's... Th That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. Red Holy Ring. No damage from small rocks. 
That's what that ring is. Huh. Uh, okay, I mean, that's... Those are both kind of nice. Um, what do I currently have? No damage from Zora's fire. Ah, that one is pretty amazing, but... I kind of like the toss ring, honestly. I like the red holy ring, but... I don't think that's going to be relevant for a little bit. So I think I'm going to go with, with this guy. Whoop. Yep. Whoop. Since now... Oh, that's right. I got an iron pot. I got to find... Uh, there's a chef somewhere, I think. I just got to give him the, the iron pot. I think there's a fishing mini game. Wait, maybe, maybe if I go over here, I can actually do it. I don't remember where the fishing game is. Oh, it's not this guy. Whoa, not a horrible looking Zelda game. <laughs> What's up, Za? How's it going, man? Yeah, we're finally through the CDI games, so I I can suffer no more. Finally, uh, whoa! Hey, thank you so much for the biddies. One year of time cap, yes! The time police. Oh, did that make any sound? I don't think it was making any sound. That's weird. <laughs> Thank you, Zod. That was very nice of you. You didn't have to do that. But I super appreciate it either way. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah! But, yeah, we beat all the CDI games, so now I get to go play the fun ones again. <laughs> At least for a little while. I... I think I'm going to be less enthusiastic when it comes to some of the uh, the DS games. But that's We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate you, Za. It does mean a lot, though. And <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. So I think I'm going to try going north and see... Um, if maybe I can access something new over here. I'm not gonna plant anything over there, because I know it's all just gonna be wasted. Oh, wait, have I gone? Wait, I think this is exactly where I went before. Yeah, I'm a doofus. Ah, uh, well, all right. Now we gotta figure out how we get Rock's Feather. So we can't go that way. Uh, huh, huh, huh. How did I even get all the way over here? Oh, I froze it. Ah. Can I freeze anything over here? Well, we have a little dungeon. Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually starting to get stumped again. This game's got me, got me good so many times. Wait, what's this? Maybe there is more over here that I can do then. I'll keep poking around. I'll figure this out if it's the last thing I do. Whoop. Oh, right. Oh, well, I mean, if the witch wants to show up, who am I to deny? This nice little game of pick up the stuffs. Uh, where do I want to start? Ha! Ha 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 ha! Wahaha! You'll never beat me at this game. I don't really need more stink seed, but that's okay. Okay, so I think... I think there's plenty of stuff over here that I haven't explored. Okay, so that was the boxing guy, but maybe something up here nope oh wait I could take Ricky up there I think wait duh, I have a horn to summon Ricky with Ricky come here buddy I wonder what happens if I take Ricky down here will he even go inside nope that's okay I don't like that guy either he's a little weird Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> that's actually kind of satisfying. Okay. Can you do it? Yes! Yes, everything is good now. Oh. You know, I kind of thought I was going to get shocked there. But it all worked out. Okay, so maybe this is where I was supposed to go and I just didn't realize. Huh. Whoops. Hiya! All right, the bridge is connected. So then what's, what's down here? Oh, ah, okay, now I see. Oh, well, hello, magic fairy. I don't really need help from you right now, surprisingly. I think I'll just keep climbing this. I mean, just kind of feels right. I hope Ricky doesn't show up up there, though. Ah, there you are, buddy. Whoops. Yeah! I'm too big for you, like likes. <laughs> Although, I wonder... Is there a point where Ricky just, like... He's like, alright. You can't ride along with me anymore. You just gotta go do your own thing. Oh. Oh. This feels like the perfect spot for some buried loot, but I think I'm just being optimistic. Oh, well, we got Snicks. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, the kangaroo is, his name is Ricky. He's, uh, this game did s one one of the cool things it did was uh, it added the wow like animal companions, so there I think are three total. There's a kangaroo, there's a flying bear, and there's an alligator crocodile guy. I don't totally remember that guy as well, but they're cool. They, you get this little like horn that you get their each of their songs for, and uh, you just kind of summon them and go through these obstacles. It's pretty darn cool. Yeah, right? I, I'm way into it. I think it's really neat. It's one of those things that I always forget is part of this game. And then I always get really excited about it when I remember that I get to hang out with these guys. I can't remember, though, if they existed in Oracle of Time or not. Because I only played that game once, I think? What's in here? Shop guy. Love, love the seed. What a great song. Don't you agree? Here's a human. I understand. Let me fill your satchel for you. Love, love the seed. What a great song. What did you just fill? Oh. Oh. I guess that's nice. It's a little weird. But you know what? I'll take it. I will. I'll take the free seed from a mysterious plant monster. Oh, oh! Oh, I kind of remember this. Wait, I think I know what to do. Good thing I have the perfect ring for the job. Huh? Come on. Oh, I can't pick these up? Oh, never mind. Now we're entering my domain, a great moblin. Aw, oh, man. Well, maybe I can have Ricky punch them back? Is that a thing? No? Hmm. Alright, well, what's this all about? Ah! Well, nothing good, I guess. Alright, well. <laughs> I'll just pretend like that never happened. Whoops! The Great Moblin is one of those few things that I, I always remember about this game. You, you boy, this is the Great Moblin's realm. If you wish to get by alive, pay my toll. <laughs> nah. I'm good. Later, man. Oh, wait. Oh, I know this area. Okay, cool. 
So that's where this all connects. So I guess I'm just gonna... Ah, you're back, Mom's away. Oh! Ooh, it smells like medicine. I can't stand it, see ya. Oh, pfft. All right, bye, Ricky. I can't do anything over here anyway. Oh, city's flooded, but since I can't swim, I'm just here blowing bubbles. I mean, I can't swim either, so... I guess I'm in the same boat. Give me some bubbles. Yeah, I really can't do anything over here. Womp womp. Oh, your back bottom's away. Hmm. Maybe I can, like, jump up there with Ricky? Unless maybe I can only pick up bombs and... Nope. Darn. I really thought it was going to be like a little bomb challenge minigame. Oh, flat. Let's try that again. Hey, there he is. Okay, maybe I can jump up there? Come on. Get up there. Hmm. Okay, well if I go down here, I don't think I can, well maybe I should still go down there just to see if maybe there are this other things I could do with Ricky. Um, ah, get out of here. I gotta fight this guy at some point though, I don't rem remember how. Oh, I think there was way more I could do over here. I just didn't go past the bridge. That's right. That's, that's what I gotta do. Oh, yeah, I need to get the flippers to be able to go up there. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I think I jumped down from up there. Oh, well, that would be why. even know what to do with all these rubies. Rupees. Pow! Oh, fine. I like that the Lake Likes can't even do anything because Ricky's way too big. Too damn big. Uh, I think maybe I want to go up and around? Yeah. Maybe I even get the slipper or the flippers sooner than I thought too. I'd be surprised though if I get those before I get the uh, rocks feather. So I'm pretty sure you end up jumping before you can even swim. So they use the water to sort of be a jumpable obstacle. All right, where am I now? I think this is still a newish spot. I want to read that sign. What do you got for me? Far, far east, sunken city. It's far. Try to find a ride. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what I had to do with this guy. Huh. Well, apparently I've been down there. I don't know why I didn't go this way previously. Maybe that's where I needed the, um, the ability to set spring. I think that's what it was. Ooh. Oh wait, I can't take Ricky in there anyway. Alright, what do we got? Oh! Well, I'm pretty sure this is also a place that I can't do much. But... We'll see. Whoa, she's a vacuum! Oh, I can't reach most of those. Oops. Alright, well maybe the trick is going to be... The boomerang. No! No! Well, boomerang didn't didn't suffice. Alright, you win this round, but only because I can't. <laughs> now you're sorry, I have more stuff than before. See ya! Yeah, whatever. You're stupid anyway. Bah. Uh something tells me a shield would be nice here. 
So I don't think I'm going to be able to take Ricky over here, but... Oh! The power of darkness won't let you go any further. Oh, so this is the main... The main spot. Whoa. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Sheesh. Well, let's give it a shot. Maybe. Maybe. Huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. Womp womp. Darn, just when I thought I was making some real progress. Ow. Just give me, give me a heart. Give me a heart. No! Uh... You know, they do drop potions, though, more frequently than I thought they would. So maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. What is this? Oh. Oh, wow. It all just connects right here. Whoops. All this time, I didn't realize. <sighs> well, that still doesn't answer the, the problem of what do I do without Rock's Feather. Oh yeah, the stream boss was, was beaten. So if you guys go to that, that URL, it'll take you to a survey where you can vote on the next game that I play. Preferably, it'd be nice if it were in, a, in the list of games I already own. But, you know, if it's a fun game or like a, a game I already was kind of hoping to buy, then there's no, no issues there. We, the stream boss got beat really quick this time around, too. It was kind of surprising to me. Um, but it only took, like, I don't know, what, a, maybe a month and a half tops? Alright, where, where should I try to go now? I guess I could go... Back around. That's probably faster, honestly, if I just go back up here. I'm a sucker for 007 games. Had to vote for... I uh, had to vote for one. Ah, yeah. I forgot which ones of those I have, but I know I've got some of the classic ones. And I think a random GameCube one. But, uh... But, yeah, I'm I'm definitely down for 007 game. It's been a hot second since I've played any of those. I'm gonna be really bad at it. That would make for a fun Chrono stream, though. At least I think so. I voted for the GameCube one. Ah, cool! I I only played that one for maybe like a day, so I, I don't even know everything that that game has to offer. So it'll be kind of a... If that one gets picked, it'll be kind of fun for me. Well, it'll be fun for me anyway, but... Uh, I think... Okay, I'm gonna go down. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I just gotta go past... King Moblin again. hi -ya! The grapple hook made the game. Ooh. I played that one only split screen against friends. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, like, that was kind of like the thing after the, uh, what, the N64 one? It was just like... You don't, you don't play 007 games for the single-player campaign. I mean, like, you could. There's, they were still fun. It's all about that multiplayer. It's so good. But I, I think I remember there being something about a grapple hook, but I don't think I ever got to play multiplayer of that one. The multiplayer was fun every time. Maybe maybe if I if that one gets picked, I'll I'll try to, like... Pull some people onto the show with me and we could do some multiplayer shenanigans too. Because I, I would be way into that. Now that I think about it, why is Ricky so off put by the scent of medicine? It's a little weird. Yeah, I've already been kind of over most of these areas, but I'll, I'll poke around here anyway, just in case in case there's a chance I could get somewhere new. I 
feel like I gotta find where the witch's house is. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we'll go down. Oh, hey, well, there's those bombs I was looking for. Hmm, okay. So if I change the season to winter, I'll at least be able to get past those trees. But, I gotta find wherever that darn stump is. Oh! Eh, I don't really need your help. Oh, here we go. Duh, of course. Right where I entered this spot. Hiya! Okay. So we'll go back down there. Maybe sneak past that tree. Was it over here? Yeah, okay. And maybe, just maybe. Oh wow, Ricky can just like break those little snow piles. Yeah, that's that's it. Womp womp. Oh well. Hmm. Where the heck do I get that darn feather? I'm surprised that they don't have any, um, hints in the dungeon about it. Oh, actually. Oh, wait, no. I think I already got this one. Pretty sure I already got this one. So I won't... Oh, I definitely got that one. Okay, so I won't waste another geisha seed on that. Could Ricky jump up there? I don't think so, because that dead plant is kind of in the way. But, you know, it's worth a shot. Come on, come on, get up there! Ah! Yeah, I knew. I knew it wasn't, wasn't going to go quite so easily. Maybe I get the feather from trading stuff. It's always possible. Oh wow, I didn't know I could take Ricky into town. I guess that makes sense. So, maybe there's some chef guy in town. That would be swell. I guess I could even take Ricky over by the beach. I don't know if there's anything over there, but She's not going to do anything. I think that locked door is, is sort of like the, um, I think you unlock it with, and that's where you kind of enter in some of the cheat code stuff. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll just go down this way. Okay, so we got lots of water. Uh, I don't think I have the means of shooting that over. Yeah, I think I need a, a slingshot for that. Hmm. Not whatever's in there, though. I think this bridge is out. That is very out. <laughs> Somehow it hasn't collapsed entirely, though. Yeah, okay. So I guess that still is all I can do over here. Ooh. So maybe... Maybe I just go back down into, uh... The underground zone and see if I can find something else down there? Let's see, let's look at the map. Pippin and Blossom's house. So that's the that's the biologist. That's the ring guy, that's the shop. Clock shop. Mayor's. Know it all bird's hut. Okay, so that's all those houses. We have Mrs. Rule's Villa. I think that's the place that I gave the doll. Blano's gym. 
Tailing in Malone's house. The gatekeeper's house. Yeah. Hmm. I almost feel like the uh, the chef's house might be in the sunken city, but I won't be able to go there until I... Maybe I gotta get the... Oh, that's where the alligator guy is. Now I kind of remember. Who's this? Windmill. Yeah, that's the biologist. What do you have to say? School swamp out west, something's afoot. I mean, something's definitely afoot. I just can't do the thing. Unless I'm crazy. Which I could very well be crazy. Alright, well. I'll go head back up to that portal. And then we'll just take... I think it'll be faster to just go this way. Pow, pow! Yeah. Pretty sure, anyway. Well, fine. Be that way. I didn't need your help anyway, Ricky. Oh. Well, I didn't take that shortcut that I was trying to go for anyway. But, that's alright. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Uh... Can I summon Ricky? Might actually be good to not... Try this challenge without him. Yeah. Because otherwise I won't be able to get across and get the other half of the items. All right, buddy. We're back at it again. Although I really, really regret wasting that potion now. Been, I've been all the way over there too. Get out of here. I don't remember what happens if you die. I think you just kind of go back to the main menu. <laughs> ah! No! What's up, guy? But did you open the floodgates? The vines that get so overgrown in the summer. That's true. They really do. Thanks for the hint on how to get into the dungeon. And uh, I didn't need any of that. Although I guess I could just start digging around. Oh, right. Yeah. Hmm, okay. I mean, I could go back to wintertime and maybe do some stuff down there. Uh, I don't know. I'll go get a bigger bomb bag. That much I know I can do. That'll be some notable progress. Wait, can Ricky jump up here? Nope. It's kind of weird how they differentiate what he can jump up and can't. I wonder if maybe it's always like up and down and never left and right. That kind of would make sense. What is this? Oh. Totally normal is what that is. Oh, actually. This is a perfect spot to plant a seed, because I know I haven't done this one yet. I don't remember what was over here. It might just be nothing. Ow. 
I didn't need you anyway. Oh, well, hold on. That might be a thing that is kind of nice, maybe a little bit. I dig for some hearts. Ow. I mean, if I can get a winter over here, I can at least get past this and go inside that that uh, bombable wall. No. I don't know what the right choice is here. I think I'll start by just going down here. I think this is what makes the most sense. Because this way, I can go get the bigger bomb bag. I feel like the only thing that's going to be in that bombable wall is... Like a piece of heart or something. I'm going to eat my words later when it turns out to actually be Rock's Feather. <laughs> oh wow! It's already restocked on rings. A big bomb bag, I'll trade for 10 bombs and 50 ore. Yes! <laughs> you can carry more bombs now, plus you get free bombs. Ah! Wow, they tripled the size of my bomb bag. 40 ore chunks. Oh, does this just get more expensive? Ah. Ooh, a geisha seed. Silver seed. Huh. Oh wait, and what else? 20 cent seeds? Yeah, it's fine. Cent seeds are pointless. Oh, these these do get more expensive. <laughs> okay, but I bet they get they might just get better over time. Wow! Well this got more expensive too. I don't have any cent seeds. It's kinda of fun though. Ah, okay, so that was it. Good. Wait, have I gone? Where have I been over here? Okay, so, oh, that's right. So that's the other portal. And that's another portal. Wait, where does this go? Have I been able to actually go on there? I feel like... Maybe not. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm a doof. That's where I got here from right okay that makes sense yeah, I need my my magnet gloves to get over there hmm yeah I think that kind of does exhaust my options. Well, I'll just go back. Oh, oh, thank you. I'll just go back up and blow up that that rock wall then, and hope that it does something beneficial. Oh, hey! Thanks for waiting for me, buddy. I couldn't do this without you. I do kind of like that they have him just like... I'm surprised that they they have him like remember where you last left him. Whoop, not that way. There we go. Okay, so first off we'll do winter. I don't know if those plants go away in the summer or not. Something tells me probably not, but you never know. Hey, what's up, the skipper? How's it going? How's your day today? We're playing some Oracle of Seasons. This game is delightful, but it's it's definitely tricking me way more than most of the other Zelda games that I played. I'm definitely left sitting here like, wait, what was what was the thing I was supposed to do, or where where do I get this other thing? Oh, is he not able to? Oh, there he goes. I was gonna say, 
Seems like a clear. Kacha! Eh? Oh, oh, nope. They're still here. I was gonna say, oh, maybe they're they're gone in winter time. Nope. Ah! Oh, well, I'll just sneak that. Ah, that was probably worth it. Yes. Finally, full health. All right. Step one. Let's see what's in this guy. It's been good. It was fairly nice outside, so I went for a run. Hey, that sounds really nice. Ooh. You got the square jewel. Oh. Okay, so that's what I need in order to get into the final dungeon, maybe? I can't remember what that, that dungeon actually is. Hmm, yeah, I don't remember how to get this. I think the plants just kind of reseed during one of the seasons. Ow. Yeah, that's one way to handle that. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I could just go back into the dungeon. Maybe I really am just like missing something more obvious. No, though. I don't trust it. I don't trust any of this. It just seems so easy to get there that it's like... I feel like there was something else I was missing. It would have been more obvious. Maybe not. Alright, well, we'll poke our head back in here. Level 3, Poison Moth Slayer. So... I know I need the ability to jump in that upper left one. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should just be looking at the map more. Oh, that's right. Unless maybe there was, like, one of these guys that I could pick up and throw because I know that there were plenty of um, wall masters in that room I was trying to get through but maybe there was something I could do with them give me some hearts thank you just one more just one more Oh my goodness, I can push these. Oh, I forgot that was a mechanic. Because I don't think that exists in any of the other games. Unless I'm crazy. Maybe it existed in Link's Awakening. Okay, well, turns out I had everything I needed in order to do this. I just didn't realize that I there was an obvious thing I could do. Whoops. I had, like, a moment of clarity where that thought popped into my head and I was like, wait, I can't just drop the pots, but maybe, ah, shoot, I was like, maybe I can push them. Like, something about that seems so familiar. And lo and behold, here we are. Oh, I thought I killed you guys. I guess kicking them off of the ledge into an endless pit doesn't count. That's okay. Alright. Well, I'm glad I'm not crazy that I, I definitely should be getting Rock's Feather in the dungeon. And I wasn't totally misguided there. Give me that. Alright, so we just gotta push this guy down there. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. There's another pot over there. Well, then, fine. I don't need you. Oracle of Ages actually teaches you you can push pots, not seasons, though. Ah, okay. So maybe, maybe I, I should have played Ages first. 
I, I didn't know if there was an official order in which I was supposed to play them. Since they've released at the same time, so I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know. We'll just arbitrarily choose whichever one makes the most sense. Okay, I think I need Rock's Feather in order to do that. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Alright. Just gotta push this guy. Open that. Ooh, a small key. Sweet. Easy peasy. Alright, now we're making some real progress. Is the stream quality okay, by the way? It keeps saying that I'm dropping, uh, skipping frames. But I'm not actually... Well, I guess I am dropping some frames. Yeah, let me know. I guess I could always restart everything, too, if it if it's actually noticeable. It's been finicky lately. I don't know what's going on with Streamlabs. Maybe I just got to do like a nice hard um, reset of, of everything. Oh, can I not kill them? I think I can only kill them with thrown things and bombs. I believe. Whoops. Well, so much for that. Oh, the bombs may work as well. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I don't think the spin attack does more damage in this game. It kind of feels like it does the same amount, just sort of gives you a wider range of attack. Which I think that's okay. It got kind of weird in A Link to the Past when you just sort of do it all over the place. I mean, like, if ever there were a good hint. It seems to be an occasional hiccup, but mostly it looks fine. Okay. Well, that's still more of a pain than I hoped it would be. Whoops! Well, maybe when we're getting close to the stream hiccup point, I'll, uh, I'll just do a nice, like, reset of everything and, uh, see if I can get it a little bit cleaner, because we're not too far away from the stream, the, the normal stream hiccup. Oh, wait a second. What do I do here? Huh? Ah, ha, ha. Sneaky. Oh? <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. I don't really know what's going on with these. Oh! I see. It's a puzzle. That makes sense. Okay, so... If I go... Huh? Huh? Eh. Eh. Might have messed this up. Oh, wait, no. Okay, this is good. Hey! I stumped here for a good while. Ah! You mean this puzzle here? Uh, yeah, it's. It's. A, no, I mean. I kind of like how it, it doesn't really prescribe what to do, like it just sort of presents this room. If you're not really paying attention, it's really easy to miss that, oh, these are pushable blocks and they're color-coded. <laughs> ah! Ah! Slimes! Alright, not gonna deal with this guy. Uh, oh. Wow. Okay, so these guys don't push you when you swing at them with your sword. It's kind of nice. Oh, hey, okay, so we're on the other side of this. 30 whole rupees. Ah, yes. Oh, well, since you conveniently stopped right next to me, might as well finish the job. Okay, so I guess there's nothing really really over here unless uh, ah, I was kind of hoping that maybe 
maybe something would drop. Okay, well, we do have a key, so let's poke our head in here. Whoa! This is fine. I just want to charge my spin attack. Uh, these guys aren't too bad. They're not the ones that shoot at me. Not yet, anyway. They'll get worse. Ah! Uh, hey! There it is! So we've played Breath of the Wild? Oh, yeah. I haven't beaten it, though, which is the silliest thing, because I've put at least, like, I don't know, 80 to maybe 100 hours into it. <laughs> It's one of those games, I have the same problem with any of the Elder Scrolls games where I refuse to beat it until I've done all the things. It's a bad problem because I want to finish it, but instead, I'll just end up finishing Breath of the Wild on stream. Because we're doing the whole chronology, so I figure at this point, ah, might as well just save it since we'll be going back through it anyway. At least, I think it'd be fun. Not that I think there's going to be really any surprises when, uh, of the ending in, in Breath of the Wild. I feel like I kind of, kind of get the gist of how it's going to go. Ow. Oh yeah, by the way, Skipper, there's a, we beat the stream boss, so if you want to vote for the next Sunday game, uh, well, not this weekend, but the, the weekend after that. Feel free to vote on that little, uh, that Google form. Ah, shoot. I got trigger happy. But it should be fun. Preferably, it would be nice for it to be in, in, uh, the list of games I already own. But, if it's, if it's like a, a game that I'm already excited about, then I'm, you'll be able to convince me to just buy it anyway. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we'll just go up. Alright, what do we got here? I think we're gonna have to see what's above. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we do. Hey, and it's the compass. Ow. I don't know why I jumped right into that guy. Oh, well this makes sense. I just gotta push this guy out of this little tile here. I thought I was going to have to guess a little bit more than that. Hiya! Perfect. Get out of here. Ooh. They just stepped up the challenge. Huh. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm going to want to double up. There we go. Huh. I enjoyed Breath of the Wild quite a bit myself. It makes me really curious for the future of Zelda though like will they be using its format for future installments that is a very good question I I don't I I kind of wonder the same thing too which I wouldn't be upset I think though oh that's the way back I think what they're probably gonna do is use that formula again like I think they're gonna definitely make another Zelda game in that same game engine that they built for that that one specifically um, so really it's a question of how, how high of budget are they going to make the next one? Is it going to be like the same, same kind of budget as, as Breath of the Wild God? Or will it be like, you know, like the 3DS version, um, and they use it for a similar style game on the 3DS? It's a good question. But I, I think that they're not going to totally lose the, the like, traditional Zelda design, too. I think they're just sort of in a, like, let's sort of experiment phase. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I don't know what it is, but I like having the sword on the B button. Small key. I see another room right here. I feel like I might have been over there. I think though, no matter what though, I'll I'll be excited for just about any Zelda game. Like the ones that I was the least excited for were probably 
Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Ow. Where uh, some of the DS ones. But it seems like they kind of stepped away from some of the design they utilized in the DS ones. Which is fine. I think they were still sort of in an experimental mode with those too. Because they were like, well, we have a touchscreen now. So what do we want to do with that? And they were like, well, let's just make it the primary means of moving around. And players were like, just let me use the D-pad, please. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. Hmm, okay, so... I think I don't want to go this way. Maybe I do. Ah! Ah! Wow, that actually worked. Whew. It's cutting it close. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, because this is... This is that other area that I already went to the other side of. So I don't think that's really going to do much. Unless... Unless I missed something. How do I get... How do I get to that chest? Now that I think about it. Unless I gotta like drop down multiple floors? Oh, wait. No. I have no idea. Maybe there's a, a bombable wall down here. And no such luck. Unless, wait. Oh, okay, so maybe I go up and then down a floor and then just drop down? I'll give that a shot. That feels right. Yeah, actually, I definitely didn't finish my business over here. <laughs> Later, man! Oh, yeah, okay, this is where the money's at. Yeah, the DS ones were interesting. I wasn't too big of a fan of Phantom Hourglass, but Spirit Tracks I thought was pretty solid. I, I nev never played um, Phantom Hourglass other than like maybe a, a handful of minutes of it. Um, just because I, I booted it up and poked around and, and then uh, lost the chance to keep going. But I, I heard a lot of complaints about Phantom Hourglass, so I, I think I'll probably share the same frustrations. Oh man. Um, Spirit Tracks was weird. I, I wasn't crazy about it, but I'm not... I, I think as time goes on, I'm less dissatisfied with it. So I'm curious to see how I feel about it when I get to it on the Chrono Stream. If I even can, because I'm still not sure if I'll have a good way of, of streaming DS and 3DS games. Um, but... I think maybe I was just so off-put by the uh, the idea of it being on a train. It just like really confused me for some reason that I think I had a hard time like wrapping my brain around it. Okay, so I guess I gotta come at this from the other way. Somehow up there? So how do I get over there? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know how that works. The biggest improvements were dungeons, music, and story in my opinion. Phantom Hourglass was lacking in those areas. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I know I wasn't crazy about um just like the constant traveling across land with uh, um, spirit tracks like I think it it was fun at a certain point and then it just sort of ran dry for me um, but I I definitely I, I could see where the dungeons might have been improved because I, I have almost no recollection of how the dungeons were so that that to me is at least a 
moderate sign that I I probably at least enjoyed it if I even if I don't remember it I feel like I'm more likely to remember it if I were was angry about it <laughs> hmm yeah I definitely am gonna have to find a way to drop down there okay well I'll, let's go back around this way and see I know that there's definitely the one spot that I missed um, with that collapsing floor. And then there's this. However I get up there. Yeah, I feel like most of these I just gotta drop down for. Yeah, I knew you'd be here. Get out of here. Not today! Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll go push this pot onto... Ooh, hey there, fairy. I always thought that the fairies in this game kind of looked like flying caterpillars. I don't really know why. <laughs> They're a little funny looking. You looking forward to Link's Awakening remake? Oh, yes. That game, of, of so many other Zelda games, absolutely deserves to be remade. I'm 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 definitely hyped for that one. It's funny too because I I feel like I didn't really understand that game until whoops. I feel like I didn't really understand that game until I did it on the Corona stream and now I'm just like enamored by it. Wah. Oh wait. I'm an I'm a <laughs> I don't I don't know why I thought I had to do that the hard way. Oops. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, I, actually. There we go. So will the shield stop those guys? I assume that means you're also looking forward to it. Oh. Oh, that's right. I've already... I've done this already. I knew that that wouldn't work. Um, yeah, I'm curious what he'll say. The owls were never really that helpful in Link's Awakening, but in water, it's invincible. Okay. I'm assuming it's talking about the boss. But I'll take that. Oh, hey. Ah. I don't have to fight you. I'm just going to go down here. Oh, ah, okay, here we go. We got the sub boss. Okay. It is, in fact, invincible in water. So, probably gonna have to pick it up. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Such a goofy enemy. Yes! Alright, one down. Not too shabby. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with multiple fireballs. Oh, he's still hopping around. Wow. There we go. You done. And... Huh. All right, one more, and then this guy's done. Now we'll drop a nice little fairy. Oh, I threw him right back into the water. I love the bosses in this game, or in these games, really. I feel like they are so... Oh, of course. I feel like they were so creative. They really loved incorporating picking up stuff during the boss fights, too. I like that. Yeah! And I got the fairy. Okay, cool. So where's this going to take me? Oh, okay. Right back at the beginning. I am not 100% sold on the art style, but that's okay because gameplay is what matters most. I definitely... I share that opinion. Although, I, I'm i very excited to see where the art style goes. I There's something about, like, the toy look. Like, 
not a lot of games explore tilt shift, um, which is usually just a style of photography, but they decided to use tilt shift cameras in a game, which I, I like that they're willing to explore that. Like that to me is pretty exciting, but I, I could see the reservation about it too. I think this is, I think this is, yes. Okay, cool. So if I, uh, uh, hmm. Ah, that makes sense. Hey, okay, that's the boss key. I don't know why I didn't expect that. <laughs> well, cool. So now, I think I just gotta go back to that same spot. And then I might be able to get to the boss how much trouble we'll see oh yeah okay I mean that is like most of the rest of the uh, missing items oh right okay yeah so I just go back up here and then I'm gonna jump across here boom jams nice and easy and I guess we'll go fight that boss hopefully Hopefully, I don't need a potion to get this guy. Ah! Sorry. Got distracted. Sheesh, man. I think they want me to be in the center. Ah! Ah, shoot! Ah, that's a problem. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait probably want it to be off to the side. There we go. Oh! Nice! I did not think... Oh, cool! So I can slash him off on the side. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is good. I'm into this fight already. Wow! Alright, I did it! Yeah! Give me that heart. Wow, I already have a decent amount of hearts. Seven hearts? gonna get that magical stuff you got the bright sun in essence of nature young shoots grow quickly under the warm rays of the bright sun yes Thank you, Grease. I too feel the bright sun. I dreamt of the waterfall on the mountain north of Sunken City. Perhaps the next essence is near there. Probably. Good thing I got Rock's Feather so I can hop up there now. I don't need you anymore, Ricky. <laughs> Gotta love the poetic blurbs after every dungeon item you collect. I love it. I think it's great. Ah, ah. I always get tricked by those guys. Okay, so I don't think I needed to do anything else down there. So we're just going to go up to the sunken city and eventually find our crocodile friend. I think. I forget where he actually shows up over there. Uh, yeah, okay. Going down. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see how this works. Oh, that's kind of fun. I was wondering where that path led. I was like, of course, it's going to take me to the same place, just I don't have to go up to get there. Okay, where are we? Did I go too far? I think it did. Well, maybe this is fine, actually. Hey, what's up, Kappa? Hey, Chris, we st still playing this, are we? Yeah, I'm a little slow at this game. I keep missing, you know, simple things, and it <laughs> it takes me an embarrassingly long time to uh, 
realize, oh, I can actually just push push jars. That's how you, you push that switch to open the doors. Of course, that makes sense. <laughs> Little things like that. It, it, it's been tricking me up nice and frequently, but we're, we're, we're getting through it. <laughs> Why is Link on a kangaroo? What's up, Belle? Because kangaroo is the best way to travel, don't you know? <laughs> I think maybe I gotta go up. This is uh, Ricky. Oh, wait, I can't go that way. Just kidding. Although, hold on. I want to explore this, this spot right here. Whoops. Ah. I saw, saw that little, like, divot, and I was like, that seems like a good spot to hide treasure. How are you guys doing though today? I hope your I hope your days were good, Belle and and Kappa. What's interesting is you don't necessarily have to have Ricky at this point. If you played ages first, you could have the bear instead, and the overworld obstacles changed to suit his abilities. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I forgot where some of these these allies uh, sort of come and go. So I thought that this one had the bear also, but maybe I'm I'm just crazy then. Or maybe what you're saying is I could have gotten the bear early instead. That's cool though. I I like that those games had that kind of like interconnected play. Oracle was meant to be played first. Can get the bear in this one. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Oracle of Seasons was meant to be played first, or Ages was. I hope I'm not doing it in the wrong order. But then, I couldn't see anything explicitly call it out, so I just kind of made a educated guess. Seasons? Okay, cool. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad I'm not crazy. It felt right? I don't know why. Hiya! All right, what's up, angry guy? Oops. Let's try that again. My pops a master diver. He had a secret diving spot, but he never told me where it was. Stingy guy. Wow. Sheesh. What's up, old lady? My husband was a master diver, but now he's old and he's hidden his diving gear and gone off somewhere. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry about that. There we go. Oh, I don't trust this guy at all. Legend say of some sort of treasure sleeps on the summit. It's a boy's dream. I think about it so much I can't sleep. It's the way he's rubbing his hands together. He's like, yes, I'm going to steal something later in this game. This seems like, seems like it should be a little secret spot. Maybe I should throw stuff around his room? Nah? All right, you're fine for now, guy. But we'll see, we'll see how I feel later. Whoops. I'll go, I guess while we're here, might as well do that. Ah, uh, I think this might be where I need to go, but I don't have the uh, the diving gear yet. What is this all about? Huh? 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 All right, you got me stumped this time, game. first but it's backwards compatible if you played ages first the game changes a bit ah, I gotcha not sure but if I had to guess I'd say this house either changes later in the game or changes if you played ages first oh I could see that yeah I, I can't remember either oh wait I don't have these yet yes these things are amazing the guests can take you anywhere you want to go open your seat satchel to use them so now I can quick travel which is super nice because there's a lot of back and forth in this game. 
Oops, I don't have the feather out. Silly me. Yeah! Oh, I found something weird! It's a monster! It came to attack the city, it did! We must protect the city! Ha! Take that! You leave him alone. We're the city safety patrol. Well, let's see what he has to say. Doo -doo. We shall protect the city. Scram, kids. We are protecting the city, but without weapons, we're helpless. Do you have bombs? There's nothing to fear now. Let's go out on patrol. Whoa. <laughs> uh, did I just give them bombs? Oh, maybe they were just like, oh, you got bombs, then you got this. You saved me. I'm Dimitri. You can't swim? I can even swim up waterfalls. You helped me. Now I help you. Get on my back. I jump when you press A. And I swim like a fish even up waterfalls. You can also carry me using the power bracelet. That's pretty fun. <laughs> ah, he eats it. Oh, goodness. That is ridiculously adorable. Rap, rap. Well, that's definitely the witch's place, I think. I even swim up waterfalls. Try it. Quit telling me what to do, Dimitri. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the fishing spot. Oh, it's the vases. Oh. Vases wanted. Ingo Collector. I think this is just a trade spot. <laughs> ah, bombs. Very powerful firecrackers. Totally safe for kids. <laughs> I just walked right across the water. No fair. Oh, I didn't even notice. That is no fair. Oh, this is totally, um... I forget his name in, uh... Ocarina of Time. There's, like... There's Talon, and then this is his brother. Ingo! Oh, yeah, it is Ingo, isn't it? That's the name of the... The darn shop. <laughs> I like him in pixel form. I think he still reads pretty well. Shoot! That Bagoron, no matter how often I ask, you won't give me his vase. I'd give my dinner for it. Fish! <laughs> Scram! Don't touch my vases! I swear! Well, fine, Ingo. Why you gotta be such a jerk? Such a grumpy guy. Okay, so he won't be able to dive underwater. I know. I want to explore, Dimitri. I da. Ah. Have I been one tile done? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just curious what would happen if I let go. Okay, so he can't go in there. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. Talon and Ingo, aka totally not Mario and Luigi. I know, right? I, I, I kind of love it, though. Ah, well, that was just a lot of bad ideas. Huh. Huh. What you got here? 50 whole rupees? I'll take it. So then the other one might be... Oh, just kidding. What's up, stranger? You certainly won't be needing that diving gear anymore, would ya? I'm the master diver. To become my pupil, go to the next cave and open all four eyes in a single stroke and bring back proof that you have done so. Alright, alright. I'll play this game with you. To be fair, Link's tendency to break pottery. I wouldn't let him near a vase collection either. That's, that's a very good point. I didn't consider that. <laughs> He does have a bit of a reputation. Whoa. All right, buddy. You stay here for a sec. Can I just push these? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to push them all up here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, pfft. Right. I can't swim yet. That's why I'm doing this. You got the master's plaque. Take it to the master. Alright. If only it were that easy to become a master at something.
but I mean, you know, it is Link after all. Can't really, can't really argue with his mastery. He's already killed Ganon like five times at this point, or more. Okay, buddy. Oh, that's my master's plaque. You've passed my test. Very well, then. I accept you as my pupil. Take these flippers. You get Zora's flippers. You can now go for a swim. Press A to swim, B to dive. I'll teach you my secret route to Mount Kuko. There's a diving hole among the reefs in town. Use the flippers I gave you. Thanks, buddy. I will. And now, I can go in this spoopy house. Oh, it's not spoopy at all. With the seasons out of order, the mountain shows melted s Oh, the mountain's melted suddenly, flooding town. I can't even leave the house. It's terrible. It is pretty terrible. I don't disagree with that. Well, see you later, I guess. <laughs> Your parents have 500... Okay, you can buy any mastery you want. I mean, it's a fair point. <laughs> yes. For the longest time, because you could dive underwater in this game, I don't know what it was, but I, I thought that you could do that in uh, in uh, A Link to the Past, too. And it, it plagued me forever, because I, I couldn't remember where it happened, and I, I was like, why can't I figure out how to do this in Link's Awakening? I feel like a dummy. It's like, oh, I'm actually just thinking of the wrong game. Whoops. Cool. Well, let's see. Where do I want to go? I know this is the shortcut to town, but that's not really where I want to go. I will go that way eventually, though. So for now... I forget what's actually in there. I, I want to think that it's the witch's house, but maybe it's like, um, I don't know, like a little secret thing. Oh, hey, I'm getting a lot of geisha seeds. Sunken Falls had waters in Sunken City. Huh. All right. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Alright, well, maybe she'll drop a, a potion again. I like that she upgraded her stuff. Well, there's a ring. I'll take that. Huh. Ah! Got it! <laughs> I feel like I already got all the things in here. Yeah, it did. By the way, for anyone who, that doesn't know, because uh, we beat the, we defeated the stream boss, uh, you guys can vote on the next Sunday game that I play after after this Sunday for this weekend, because I still want to play uh, the Z1 M1 randomizer. But the uh, the very next stream after that will be whatever whatever you guys vote for, and I'm gonna spin the wheel and, and randomly choose one of the the entrants. Oh, yeah, I can't go up there. Welp. I like Maple a lot. One of the more fun s side characters in Zelda. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, what do I want to do? Who is this? Holly's house? Who's Holly? I don't remember. Santa, welcome. Oh, that's right. She gave me the shovel. Hmm. Okay, so... I guess I could just go back to town and then maybe just teleport back to the sunken city. Oh, well, I can't do that, I guess. No, I can't do that either. Can't do anything. Ow. Well, then let's just make it winter. Almost ran right into that hole in the ground. 
Oh, I'm a doof. Right. There's different seasons in different areas. Gotta remember that. Oh. Right. Womp womp. Well. I've heard of Bebo as you, new indie game would recommend 10 out of 10. Wow, I, I saw some people streaming it. Um, so I, I'm definitely curious, but good to know that people like it a lot. I uh, I saw the reviews for it and I, I deeply regretted not putting it in my Fantasy Critic League because it, it got really good scores and I was like, ah, I, was, I failed at paying attention to the indies. Well, at least that indie. But I feel like that one kind of came out of nowhere, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention this time. Um, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely put it on my list of games that I, I want to check out soon. Because it looked really interesting. I just like, when I watched other people's streams of it, I didn't really know what I was looking at. <laughs> reach anything new now that I think about it oh well I don't remember if you I don't think you do get the dash boots in this do you because you've got the the seeds that make you speed maybe there's still a way though I can like run and keep my sword forward probably not though all right I'm gonna go appraise these Oh, wow, I got a bunch. Hmm, I can see I call this the Green Holy Ring. No damage from electricity. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. It's 20 rupees. Hmm, I see I call this the Red Holy Ring. No damage from small rocks. You have this one already. I don't need more rupees. Hmm, I see I call this the Toss Ring. Throwing distance up. Oh, I already have that one, too. I uh, call this the Power Ring Level 2. Sword damage up, up. Damage taken up, up. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. I kind of love that one. I'm going to use that. <laughs> because I usually hit first. Well, maybe maybe that's being optimistic. I like to think that I hit first. And then take damage second. High risk, high reward. But I'm glad I did pick it up. Oh yeah, I didn't hear about it either, but it wasn't... Looking out too hard. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, but cool. I, I definitely want to check that one out. It it looks like a lot of fun. I and I love, I love puzzle games that are not only innovative but like, I love seeing puzzle games pick up steam and like getting people excited because I feel like not a lot of people tend to get excited about puzzle games anymore. So a lot of folks are just like afraid to try new puzzle designs. I think that's sad because puzzle games are great. So I, I'm I'm just happy that it's being so well received. Hmm. Okay. So what are you even doing here, guys? The world seems so vast here in Horon Village. The seasons have all run amok. Yeah, it's it's not too different. Uh, maybe I'll poke my head in here and check in on my favorite little baby. My boy is well, so I can rest. Today I have more to teach. And helping those in need is good for geisha nuts. Ah. I see. Oh, look at that little baby. Lunk has got better. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything for that little guy. Eh, he's still not selling anything. Okay, so maybe I will teleport back over to... Yeah. Let's do that. I'm going to teleport back over to the Sunken City. Because I feel like there's more where I need to do over there. Highly approve of the name choice. <laughs> Thanks, Skipper. I thought it was kind of fun. Oh, there's no new seeds. I see dead cells in your list. 
I haven't actually played it myself. I've only uh, watched my my other friend play it on our YouTube show. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I just got trigger happy. Uh, but it seems like a lot of fun. Like it's definitely my style of game too. So I, I would love to to check out Dead Cells at some point. I think maybe that game was actually sent to us, which was is shocking looking at Dead Cells now because now it's so popular. But I think when it was sent to us, they were just like, we don't know if anyone's going to know if we, who we are. So they, they just gave it out to a bunch of small YouTubers. And I'm just like, oh yeah, this game's great. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. It's one of those games that um, did some really cool stuff converting 3D art into pixel sprites. I was like, wow, that's becoming a more popular process for developing game art. I think it's crazy because I'm just a 2D artist, so I just think it's easier to make the 2D art itself. But some people are just, they're more fluent in, uh, in making the 3D art and then converting it. It's better for animation, I'll say that much. Easier for animation, rather. I forget what opens those guys up. It might be summer? I doubt it's winter. Turns out, it was already summer. Maybe it's winter? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's okay. I feel like I might be- Oh, it's the bear friend! Hi, bear friend. Snoof, snoof. There's a spring banana tree up there, but until the rock flowers bloom in spring, I can't climb up to it. Can nothing be done? Shut up, Pooh Bear. Get out of here. Oh, oh it's, it's not the poltergust, or poultry geist. That's right. That's what we named him in, in a link, Link's Awakening. But I do get excited about weird cuckoos in these games now. Oh, 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 I can't get down there. I did hear that the, their art process was very interesting. Yeah, and they're not the only ones I've seen try that process more recently either, which I think is is cool. Um, I forget who some of the other ones were that that I was following that did that too. Maybe maybe those games haven't released yet. Now that I think about it. Oh, it's still. Oh uh, yeah, I still can't get over there. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna need a different season in order to to jump in that portal. Oh, what's up, guy? What? But I, I want to talk to you. Let me talk to you. No shields. No deflecting seeds allowed. Oh. Oh, he's a bad guy. Boo. Yeah, eat seeds. I surrender in return. I offer my advice. Even if you have a key, you still need a keyhole. Foolish brother, the keyhole is on the summit. So then there must be another guy that tells me where the key is. Also, real quick, one thing I think you might like that isn't on the list is Lou Mulana. It's a tough-ass Metroidvania with some crazy hard puzzles. Ooh, I've never heard of that one. That sounds fantastic. Oberdin did a really interesting job with their shaders. Oberdin, I... I'm so ready to play that. I played the demo back when that first came out. I need to just pick it up and play the real game. Um, okay, I'll be right back. The stream's going to hiccup in a second, but I'm going to try to fix some of these dropped frames issues while it's about to hiccup. So I'll be back in no more than five minutes, so hang tight. <laughs> 